A News Channel 3 exclusive tonight. We talked to a convicted murderer about his chances of walking out of prison a free man. The Calhoun County man was convicted of killing a Battle Creek toddler four years ago. But some people think he didn't do it. And tonight, News Channel 3's Aaron Baskerville talks with him and his family about the possibility of a new trial. The mother of Leo Ackley tells News Channel 3 she always felt innocent people don't go to jail. But now she believes that's not true. Her son is sitting in prison, life without parole, but his family now has renewed hope. He can soon walk out a free man. I believe I'm innocent because I had nothing to do with the, with the injury whatsoever. With tears in their eyes, the mother and sister of Leo Ackley sat close by as he exclusively described his journey on the phone to us behind the walls of Oaks Correctional Facility in Manistee. Just being here is embarrassing. Uh, the crime itself, obviously nobody wants to be labeled as that. Being stuck in here helped helpless. The family strongly believes he was wrongly convicted of murder for the death in 2011 of three-year-old Bailey Stenman of Battle Creek, the daughter of his then-girlfriend. I miss Bailey drastically, and it sickens me that I didn't get to grieve her death properly. They're now looking for a new trial. This case is now headed to the Michigan Supreme Court in March. On the argument, Ackley's trial lawyer failed to call any expert witnesses on his behalf, going against the prosecution's belief he abused her. They didn't defend him. He was solely charged on medical testimony, and he didn't have no medical experts. Period. The highly regarded Innocence Clinic, based in Ann Arbor, has also filed a brief in Ackley's defense. The group is known for helping overturn wrongful convictions. I want to do it for myself. I want, I want it to happen for my mother, for my whole family. I also want Erica to to receive some sort of closure, knowing that I, I had nothing to do with it. Ackley says Bailey fell out of bed, but doctors say she took a much more severe blow to the head. Of course, we tried reaching out to Bailey's mother, Erica, and the Cowan County prosecutor. We haven't heard back. In the studio, Aaron Baskerville, News Channel 3.